Baptist Church, where Reverend Walter L. Ingram Jr. is pastor. We invite you to worship with us now as Reverend Ingram brings us. Hold on, just a little while longer. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. 
church today. Yeah, I'm calling Every somebody. Just tell them to hold on. Everything. It's going to be all right. Music and trouble don't last always. And for those of us that have grown up, we understand that. Hallelujah. We, we give honor to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Who, he's the reason we're here to celebrate Him and the awesomeness of the resurrection. We give honor to uh, Minister Tyler and all who are here in their respective places, all our visitors. And to our honoree, our candidate, amen. It's a blessing to have one. It's a blessing to have one. It's a blessing to have one. We count it all joy and that today we are able to celebrate in the midst of all that's going on in the world that we can take one to the naked grave. Lord help us. All that, all that bad stuff out there, but, but that's some good stuff going on in the lives of people that know Jesus. Come on now. We have to give him that glory. Huh? We have to give him that glory. We have to give him that glory. Because that's some good stuff. Even in the midst of what's going on in the world, our Lord reigns. Huh? He's in charge. When well, the scriptures said, they call him Abba. Call him Father. Lord have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. But today we call your attention to the Gospel of Mark, the 15th chapter, verse 21. We know Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Matthew, then we have Mark, the 15th chapter. Amen. amen, amen. Have your Bible, you have an app on your phone, so wonderful and convenient. And it is. Mark, the 15th chapter, verse 21 says, And they compel one Simon, a uh, Cyrenian, who passed by, coming out of the country, the father of Alexander and Rufus, to bear his cross. Amen. Amen. And they compel one Simon, a Cyrenian, who passed by, coming out of the country, the father of Alexander and Rufus, to bear his cross. Mm. Shall we pray? Most gracious Savior, Lord, we come in this moment with great humility and with fear and trembling, Lord, that um, your word would rest in me, but your wisdom will override me and allow me to decrease, but you increase in me. That your word may be ever so present before us. And not only we would become hearers, but allow us to become doers of the word. Bless us now, in Jesus' name, amen. Today we will use as a subject, pick out to lift up. On oh, this last Sunday in February of Black History Month, we have been picked out to lift up. The setting has uh, is set here. Jesus has been unjustly tried in the secret court, whipped, crowned with thorns, and sentenced to die on the cross. For his body is emaciated. He he's weak. Uh, it was customary. Uh, one that have been convicted would have to carry the cross to Golgotha, yeah. uh, which is called the place of the skull. Hmm? Yeah. Uh, this same place was known that many died and suffered on the cross. Yeah. Many uh, uh, of this place represented death and 
Jesus and who he was would experience the same thing as others on the skull. The soldiers picked out one man to help the stumbling weak Jesus. And that was Simon of Syria. He was from North Africa. Have mercy. Uh, perhaps modern day it would be Libya. Huh? Uh, I, I believe he stood out amongst the crowd because of his dark skin. Uh, it is believed that he was a Jew that had come to Jerusalem uh, for the Passover. Yeah. Uh, Acts the 13th chapter and verse 1 even uh, concludes or helps us to solidify that he was a black man. Uh, the first verse and now that there were in the church that was at Antioch certain prophets and teachers as Barnabas and Simon that was called Niger and Lucius of Serene and Manane which had been brought up with Herod the Tetrarch and Saul. In other words, Niger mean black. They call him Simon the black man. Help me now. Uh, 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 so this is proof that dark-skinned people played a role in God's plan of salvation through Jesus. Or oh, Simon eventually converted and played a significant role in the early church. Even his sons that were mentioned who were already converted uh, Christians. <laughs> The blessing Simon helped fulfill the prophetic words of Jesus. John 12 and verse 32, and it says, And if I be lifted up, from the earth will draw all men unto me. All the customary capital punishment was death on a cross. Pastor Tony Evans helped us to understand this. The cross drew all judgment for all people to Jesus Christ as the Savior of the world. The death of Christ saved all humankind from the consequence of original sin and made all people savable for their personal sin when they placed personal faith in him. This is why we are to share the gospel with everyone in the world. Huh? Oh, oh I, I, I tell you, he, he did it uh, just for us. Huh. Down through the years here in America, across the world, dark-skinned people uh, have been oppressed. Huh? Only because of the color of their skin. Uh, Lord have mercy. The, the, the mother folk believed we were inferior in our ability to think and reason. <laughs> oh, help me now. Here's, here's some heavy here. However, they did not take into consideration who built the pyramids. Lord have mercy. Come on now. Come on. Uh, a modern scientist today uh, can't even understand how in the world did these dark skinned folk build these pyramids without modern machinery. Huh? There were no earth movers, no bulldozers, no cranes, none of that stuff that's used to build what we see as skyscrapers. But yet these people built the pyramids. And the world over, we just don't understand how. But I'm so glad that, uh -huh, uh -huh, that something not meant for everybody to understand. <laughs> because God gave those people that ingenuity. <laughs> but here, Simon was picked out to lift up Jesus. <laughs> I come to tell you, in 2022, we have been picked out to lift up Jesus. Huh? Our four parents were picked out and lifted up Jesus. Oh, they burned crosses in our yards, but we lifted up Jesus. They even killed our loved ones, but we lifted up Jesus. They separated the drinking fountains, but we lifted up Jesus. They gave us secondhand books, but we lifted up Jesus. They discriminated in the workforce. 
how well educated for our parents and we had some I, I, I know uh, uh, Deacon Martin and Deacon, uh, Brother Boone uh, 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 they were well educated but all we could do was deliver mail had college degrees and some even had not but all we could do is deliver mail and perhaps work as porters but our mind but we still lifted up Jesus we had women who had degrees had finished nursing school but all they could do was be nannies Lord have mercy but they continued to lift up Jesus despite our oppression our foreparents kept lifting up Jesus oh I come to tell you that's power in lifting up Jesus because these same folk had children and grandchildren that have finished college. They started businesses. They've done all kind of great things. Uh, uh, all because, thankfully, because of grandmama them prayers and mama them prayers. Uh, 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 they lifted up Jesus. Hmm. Well, how do we lift up Jesus? We lift him up by loving our enemies and one another. The true sign that we fear God and love God. Now, days past and gone, many slave plantations, we worked in the kitchen. Hmm, somebody missed that. Huh? We could have poisoned. Lord have mercy. We could have poisoned the oppressor. But somehow or another, our folk feared God. And they knew better days would happen and they dealt with the hand they were dealing with. They saw their children sold away, but they kept working in the kitchen. Lord have mercy. Huh? Huh? But, but, but here and we lift him up through prayer. The word of God said, man ought to always pray. Huh? And, and if we pray, uh, the Lord would give us the wisdom to handle whatever situation the right way. Tell young people all the time, yeah, if you feel uh, discriminated, you feel like you've been disrespected by an adult or your teacher, you can't handle it. Let your mother handle it. Let your guardian, your father, your, let them handle it because if you want to try to cuss the idiot, you're just going to make it worse for yourself. Huh? And the same way days passed and gone as the teaching of Mahatma Gandhi and, and my, that it would be a non-violent movement. And yet, her life was lost. But Lord, how mercy greater took place. So we have to lift him through our service. And days passed and gone as I talked to many people. Days passed and gone, uh, 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 they didn't understand that they were really poor. <laughs> Lord have mercy. They thought routine was routine. Sunday school, I mean Sunday clothes, Sunday school, school clothes, school clothes. You came home, you put on your play clothes. They have an idea, but that was all for the preservation so that mama, daddy, grandmama didn't have to buy clothes all the time. That was a place. It created order for us. Said, huh, before you left the house, you ate breakfast, you made your bed, you took care of whatever needed to be taken care of. So that was giving us something that the world came. It was giving us some order and routine. Because somehow or another, in the wisdom of those that lifted up Jesus never set foot in a college class to learn psychology and sociology but they had the word of God and they understood that uh, the word spatter on is more than child help me Holy Ghost they, 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 they understood that uh, 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 if a child act ugly that's what they that's, that's why we got it where we got it at huh? Huh? because they understood that the children represented them and you didn't go out cutting the food. We had those little talk before we got out the car. Before we went, don't put your hand on nothing. Don't ask for nothing. And the list goes on and on and on. And, and, and most of us had sense enough to obey. And then when one of us got, oh, oh Lord. Huh? Huh? Ain't no hiding up under the clothes rack in the store. Huh? And, and, and they understood that. 
huh, you stay close to me. We're going to cry. I'm going to hold your hand for safety. And what it is, you are my child. Oh, we're thankful here that Paul gave us the assurance of success. Even when we have been picked down, even when we are being picked off, Philippians 4 and 13 said, I can do all things through Christ with strengthening me. It doesn't matter. It, it, it doesn't say anything about the oppressor. Huh? Huh? It, it doesn't say anything about uh, uh, those that are out. No, uh -uh. You follow Christ. He gives you the strength. As I read the, uh, uh, sort of like the first black girl to attend college, how she had to take notes outside the door. Lord have mercy. Huh? Just think she trying to listen and take notes. Couldn't sit down, but had to take notes. Lord have mercy. But she made it. She made it. And many others made it in spite of, uh, uh, of the inconvenience. Huh? You have to have a desire and then you have to ask the Lord, Lord, let me do this. Yeah. Hmm? The pit down have impacted the world in every area of possible. Math, science, business, medicine, the military, technology, entrepreneurship, business, and the list goes on and on. Well, we have impacted not only our neighborhoods, but we have impacted the world. And we even saw it a few years ago when America had the first black president. Somebody most of us had never heard of. But isn't it a blessing how God has his hands on folk that everybody don't have to know. But when it's your time, it is your time. Then follow back now, we have the first black vice president. Just so happens that she is a woman. Can't nobody do you like the Lord. Is a call that we must huh, continue to lift up Jesus. Even now, the head uh, of discrimination has risen through the heinous act of voter, voter suppression. Racism is still in the eyes of police officers. Salaries are still inconsistent uh, compared to our counterpart. But even still, we must continue to lift up Jesus. Oh, we cannot, we cannot allow COVID to get in the way of our worship. We cannot allow the things of the world to worry us that's going to keep us away from our worship. But I come to tell you, it's all right if they pick on you because the word of God said we have greater on the inside of us. They may look at us funny and strange, but you better tell them greater is on the inside of me. I don't have to stoop to your level. Huh? I have somebody to call on. Huh? Look what he told us, John 4 and 4. He said, ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Huh? So we got to tell everybody, even pants are sagging, greater uh, inside of you. Huh? You better get to know him while you can, huh? because greater... Huh? is on the inside of you while the blood is running warm in your veins. You better call on Jesus as your personal savior. Greater is on the inside of you. Reach to your neighbor. Reach out to your children. Tell them greater. Oh, they may discriminate us based on how the locks in our hair, the braids that are so neatly in our head. But greater. Oh, but I come to tell you, after a while, by and by, all true believers, even those of us that have been picked on, the song said, but all gosh, oh, John the Revelator makes it plain, it says, after this, beheld and lo a great multitude, which no man can number of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues, stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hand, and they cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our God, which sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb. So when all God's children get together, that going to be some shouting, that going to be some hallelujahs. We are stand before him and praise him like never before. Yes, you may feel
feel like you've been picked on and picked out, but we have a God who's able uh, to allow favor to rest in us. Uh, we have a Savior that uh, allow us, he said, come unto me that labor and all that are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Uh, when they've been picking on you, it's all right. You got somebody to tell them to, and then you have an advocate, the Holy Ghost. That the Lord said, I never leave you, nor forsaken you. Uh, when things aren't right, uh, lift him up. Uh, when pain is racking in your body, lift him up. Uh, when you have tears in your eyes, uh, lift him up. Uh, other folk may not understand uh, what's going on with you, uh, but we got to lift up Jesus. Uh, even in 2022, uh, they may look at us funny, uh, but we got to lift him up. Uh, days past and gone. Uh, everybody used to have a little ditty. Everybody had a song. Mama, grandmama be in the kitchen humming their song. I don't know. It could have been Father, I stretch my hands to thee. It could have been what a friend we have in Jesus. It could have been precious Lord take my hand. It could have been come ye disconsolate. It could have been it is well with my soul. You ought to have a little ditty. You ought to have a little song that when you've been picked on even by those that you say love you, you better have a song in your heart or you'll mess up and you will be in a mess. But it's okay because Jesus is able to lift you up if you call on him right. If you lift his name, he will come and see about you. He will. The same folk that harass you, the word of starts here make your enemy. Yes, sir, you do. Call on him. Simon of Serenity, he was just in the crowd. But he had an encounter with Jesus. For they said the crowd crowds weighed perhaps 170 some pounds. And perhaps Simon took the crossbar. Lord have mercy. Him and Jesus headed to God, God the hill. The hymn writer said, Must Jesus bear the cross alone and all the world go free? No, there's a cross for everyone and there's a cross for me. The good part about it, when we are going through, he said, The Holy Ghost, the Comforter, will be right there. For when we cry, he'll be right there. When we weary, he'll be right there. When we are overwhelmed, he'll be right there. But we gotta continue. Because there's power in the cross. And you know, I know a lot of people, they were Jewish, some have a crucifix, Jesus, but Jesus ain't on the cross no more. He arose. So, so, you know, the crucifix is cute. Maybe that's part of your jury, but, but he's not on the cross anymore. He's not on the cross. He arose. Lord have mercy. With all power in his hands. And we, as we go, we have to show ourselves as cross bearers. Everybody won't like us. Hmm? Amen. Some of our own folk treat us with Amen. some other folk. Hmm? But we gotta continue yes. in this yes. lift up. Jesus. Because that's power in lifting up Jesus. Certainly they've been picked on uh, because of somebody just want what they want. But 
we, we, we got to pray and continue to pray. God bless you today. God Pastor bless you. The doors are have been listening to worship at Mount Pilgrim Baptist Church, Reverend Walter Ingram Jr. Pastor. We hope you've enjoyed this message and we invite you to worship with us each and every Sunday at our church located at 1501 Newton Road, Albany, Georgia. God bless you and God keep you is our prayer.